Welcome back to part three of our Trello clone using Vue.js. The next step that we want to handle is the ability for you to drag and drop columns of those lists. So the first piece that we're gonna tackle on drag and drop is dragging and dropping the entire list itself. And the reason for that is because it's actually a lot simpler than trying to drag and drop a card across lists. Because not only do you have to keep track of their position with cards, um, the lists are just a position horizontally. The cards are actually a list ID, which list it's in, plus the location or position it is inside of that column. So those have to grab a couple pieces of data, which aren't the most accessible with the view draggable uh, library in its current state, but that may change in the future. However, um, this works pretty nicely right now as we speak. So let's dive into this. So let's go and import the draggable library from view draggable. Now this library, you can take a look at the documentation. It is pretty straightforward in how it works. What we're going to do is create a draggable um, component. And so this component is gonna be up here and we're probably going to actually replace this row there with it. So we'll have draggable and we'll have the class equals uh, row on the draggable uh, component. And this, we're also going to need to specify components uh, draggable here so that we have access to it as we render our template. And so this draggable now is going to say um, for all of its children, each one of those children is going to automatically be something that you can drag and drop. And so it's aware of this div v4 underneath it. So we can have all of those created and it's going to be able to handle the drag and drop. If we come back to our browser, we should now be able to grab completed, in progress, and those columns are now drag and droppable, and we didn't have to do hardly anything to make that possible.